how to create a professional business email using a domain name registrar. Let's get to it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is David. So this tutorial video is going to be a quick little follow up to my other tutorial video on how to create a professional email using a web hosting account in Gmail. And so I've been asked like, hey, I got a domain name at Namecheap or Dynadot. Like, how do I set it up? Like, I don't have a hosting account. I don't have a website, but I just want to use this domain name for emails. How do you set it up? How do you do it? That's what I want to cover in this tutorial video. So I'm, yeah, it's totally possible. Absolutely possible. And I'm going to walk you through step one to step done and how you can easily go to like Namecheap.com, register a domain name, and then set up a professional email within Namecheap, like hello at your website.com, and then just have everything go through Gmail. So if you're ready, let's get started. Welcome to my laptop. Let's begin. So step one is to log into your domain name register. And the process is the same, but I personally use and recommend a Namecheap, but it's the same. If you're registering your domain names with Google domain names, Dynadot, Namecheap, whatever. Anyways, to get started, just open up and go to manage and navigate to the domain name that you want to set up an email for. Now you want to scroll down and you want to find wherever it says uh, redirect email. Okay. And so right here is where we can set up a forward. So when people email us at our specific professional email, it gets redirected to a Gmail account of our choice. So let's go here, go to add forward. Now we have to cl uh, click here and set up an alias. And so all you have to do is type in whatever you want. So for example, if I want it to be hello, there you go. So it'd be hello at the domain name.com. You don't need to type in, like see how it says, a, no, no, you just leave it as the alias right there. Now, where do you want the email to go to? That's where you put in over here. So let me go ahead and do that. And there we go. Okay, so don't judge me. <laughs> this is my test email and that's it. And so we'll go ahead and click the check mark. And there you go. So now any type of email that gets sent to hello at the domain name.com will automatically be forwarded to this Gmail account. Okay, so let's just check to make sure that the email forwarding that we set up is working correctly. So I'm logged into a different email account and uh, this is the professional email that I set up at Namecheap. So let's go ahead and click on send and our message is sent. Okay, so let's jump into the email where everything is getting forwarded to. Ah, perfect. So here's the email. And so if we click the email and open up now, when we click on reply, what's going to happen is that the uh, reply is going to be coming from this email that everything's getting forwarded to. So that's going to be super confusing. If like someone emails you at like hello at your website.com, then they get a reply back from some like random Gmail account. And so what you need to do is you need to set up an alias. So to reply to emails as an alias, uh, sounds way more technical and confusing than it is, but it's actually quite simple. So you just want to go to this gear icon up top there. You want to go to see all settings. Then you want to go to accounts in import. Next, you want to go to add another email address. Why? Because we want to send email as another email address, not the Gmail account. Uh, so anyways, go ahead and add another email address. Here you can set a name and email. So I'm going to put in my name and email address. I want to send email as. Okay. And so make sure that the treat as alias is checked and then click on next step. Okay. So now this is a little bit technical now, but not too much. So SMP, SMTP server, that's the outgoing email server. So this is being populated, but from Namecheap because, uh, this is a register service. So we are sending emails from our Gmail account. So we need to delete this and we need to type in smtp.gmail.com. Then you want to change the port to four, six, five. Now we want smtp.gmail because that's the we're using Gmail. Okay. So that's why you want to set it up that way. Now the username is not just whatever you want. The username is the username for the email that you are sending emails from. And so put that in there. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. Now the password is for this Gmail account. Okay. The Gmail account that you're logged into. So go ahead and do that. and click on add account. Okay, wonderful. So now you should get a verification code. So an email with the confirmation code was sent to hello at actionvloggers.com. <laughs> and you're like, Oh, no, but I don't have Yes, you do. Okay, first off, uh, you have it set up. So everything that gets sent to this email is redirected. So you should have a confirmation email waiting for you. And just go ahead and confirm that email.
Okay, so once you have an alias set up, the way you actually reply as an alias is just click reply to any email. And then right over here, you can click the drop down and you can choose the email that you want to reply from. So if I want to reply from the professional email I just set up, you are good to go. And then you can just type away and everything that's sent will be sent via that alias technical issues and troubleshooting. So I know for everyone, it's not going to be as smooth and easy. Uh, some people are gonna run into technical issues like authentication error, etc. And I know that I ran into that same issue too. So I just wanna cover some of the most common issues you'll face. Now, typically uh, you're going to be getting some type of like critical security alert when you try and sign in, uh, you know, and set up an, an, an alias and that's totally normal. So you just have to like kind of just check your email, make sure that you uh, permit access. Uh, you can also go to your Google account and go to security and then you have to make sure that uh, allow less secure apps is on. Okay. And so that for most people that will usually solve any type of technical issue. And so you have a less secure app, you have to you have to allow it on, then you can add an alias to your uh, Gmail account. And that should and then just follow the process again, okay, with your email uh, and your password for this Gmail account, and it should work. Now, if it doesn't work, if it still doesn't work, then you need to check the error message that you're getting because I know for me that I set up uh, less secure apps and I was still couldn't add uh, my professional email when I originally was creating this uh, tutorial video. And so I had to take this and then I had to come over here and then highlight the server error that you're receiving and then literally just do a Google search and see what people are saying. So for example, uh, how to fix send mail authentication error. And so I came over here and I found this. And then, uh, you know, you just come here and then you kind of kind of just troubleshoot things yourself and so for example uh what ended up happening to me was to dot g co right over here g.co allow access boom click continue to allow access and then i was quickly and easily able to set up an alias and so you may run into these technical issues hopefully i don't hopefully you don't hopefully everything's smooth sailing and easy to, to do it but if it's not i want you to try those two things for most people just turn on less secure apps and that should work. If it doesn't work, again, just follow up and do a quick search for the specific error that you're receiving and you're going to find a bunch of results for people who have the same issue and they'll walk you through it. For me, personally, I had to come over here and allow access to the account and then I was able to add an alias because then the Gmail was able to trust that like, oh no, I'm at, the, I'm, you know, allow access, allow me to add everything, uh, et cetera. So anyways, that is it for this tutorial. All right, that's it for this tutorial video on how to create a professional business email using a domain name registrar. Now, personally, I definitely recommend getting a hosting account and going that route with your professional email because with you registering with a domain name registrar and creating and adding account with Gmail, you are probably gonna have to change some security settings and use less secure apps, which I personally don't recommend, but there's no other way around it, okay? So if you're like, how do I get around? You can't. That's just the way you have to do it. And so if you want to get around it, then just use like a web hosting account and then set up everything up that way. So you can watch my previous video on how to do that. Or you could just get an account with like Google apps, or you can get a professional email hosting account, which I have another video on that you can check. Anyways, I'm starting to ramble. So just leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. My name is David, website creatorpro.com. Have a great day and bye-bye.